Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. I'm going to start things off this morning with a very talented performer, singer, and dancer, that being Faith Michaels. Now, Faith calls Key West her home, and she performs as one of the Aquanets. It's always been Faith's fairy tale to have a career singing her own songs in front of an audience. So right now, she is pursuing a career in dance music. She'll fill us all in on that this morning. Faith, it is such a pleasure having you here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I truly appreciate it so much. Well, Faith, now I had fun reading up on you, and one of the things that I read up on you was that you also had a fairy tale of being Wonder Woman. Uh, Not dating Wonder Woman, being Wonder Woman. I wanted to be Wonder Woman. I, I'm a child of the 70s. Wonder Woman, Charlie's Angels, and Bionic Woman all mixed up into one. But Linda Carter was a huge influence in my life. And when I watch past episodes now as an adult, I see where I got some of my um, life lessons mm -hmm. now as an adult okay. through her. Well, so you always had this little fascination with Wonder Woman. So was that when Faith Michaels was born? I think in a way, yes. That that's where some of the foundation for Faith started to come because I looked at women that I thought were beautiful and what I liked about their look and started to turn it into faith, and faith started to become a part of that. Mm -hmm. and, and at first, though, you didn't want to do drag, right? Oh, I, I couldn't stand drag queens at all mm -hmm. at first. When I first came out, I thought they were amazing on stage. I loved watching them perform. Off stage, I thought they were some of the rudest people I've ever met in my life. Um, only wanted to talk to you unless you had a dollar in your hand. And um, years later, four or five years later, once I came out, I did it for Halloween. Um, people loved it. I did then a pageant just to get some experience. I won. Wasn't expecting that. Mm -hmm. I won. Mm -hmm. And I started to realize you are the performer that you choose to be. So if you choose to be cold and heartless, you're going to be that person, and even just as a person in general. And um, I chose Faith to be exactly who I am. Um, the appearance may be different, the hair color may be different, but the person is still the same. Is it hard to switch out of character though and become who you regularly are? No, it, it, for me it's very easy. Um, some people, the minute they put on a wig, uh, they change drastically. I don't. I'm just me with some cooler, bigger hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, fabulous hair, by the way, too. Well, thank you very much. Thank <laughs> does, you. Does the color change often? The color changes constantly. Um, I hate to wear the same wig with each number that I do. So when I perform at Aqua Nightclub, I could go through six to seven different wig changes, and I love it. I want to keep the audience guessing, and sometimes they don't realize they're watching the same person again and again, because we have three girls per show. Mm -hmm. So it will be me, someone, someone, then me again. Well, they don't realize it's me. And they're like, well, where did Reba McIntyre go? <laughs> I'm like, I was Reba. <laughs> or Celine, I was Celine. <laughs> so it's fun to watch. Well, good. So you keep them guessing. I keep them guessing. And now, how long does it take to turn in to faith? It takes me about 45 minutes. So that's with makeup, hair, body, so my body, my hips, my butt, and my calves are foam. And I wear three pairs of ice skater tights to smooth it all out to look natural. Mm -hmm. and it's not even my real eye color. I pop in contacts. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to look anything like I do as a boy and completely <laughs> change everything around completely. And shock everybody. And shock everybody and catch them completely off guard. Well, that's what you do. And now, Faith, let's talk about your dance music career for a minute. Sure. You have four songs out right now? Four songs And out. three of those are your own songs. That's correct. Uh, the first song I released was called Fetish. And Fetish I wrote over 10 years ago. And I stuck it in a box and walked away from it. And the chance came where I was able to talk to a uh, DJ producer, Twisted D, and she fell in love with the song, and we did it. Next song was uh, Rhythm Rehab Boys. It's called Never Ever Ever. They're out of Miami. And they wrote the song for me after they heard Fetish, and we released that. Um, then I got with Georgie Porgy out of Chicago. And we did Go Home. And my new song out right now called Kiss. I love it. Oh, I yeah. love it. And this is different than some of the other drag performers or female impersonators. They don't do a lot of their own songs. They so. don't do a lot of their own songs. And it's a real big jump 
but I've always wanted to do something like this. And I start writing and I think, well, that'd be great to have a song like this. Why hasn't anyone done it? And then I think, well, why don't I do it? Mm -hmm. And then I start taking it from there. Well, good for you. I Thank hope you that very you much. Keep, you keep popping the songs out. Now, Faith, you've performed all over the country. How does Key West compare with some of the other cities you've performed in as to how open and welcoming they are of drag queens? You know, Key West, a huge chunk of our audience at Aqua Night Club is straight. Huge amount. But that's a good sign because it shows how open-minded they are. We have people from Nebraska and Iowa and Canada and um, the UK coming in to see a show. And when they see how many straight people there are and all of a sudden I'm the minority up on stage, it's great because it relaxes them and everyone's having a good time. And they're not being judged and they're not, they're just having fun. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do at Aqua. We help relax the audience to make them realize you wanted a show, we're giving it to you. And they have the best time in the world, and I love them so much. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, and you obviously have a very, very large fan base, too. I know you have a lot of followers, and some of those followers, if they're in town, can see you tonight for a records party. Yes, we have our records party tonight. It, we are raising money for, you know, Fantasy Fest is coming up. Mm -hmm. So King and Queen of Fantasy Fest. And we're raising money, and then they're going to go ahead and start splitting up the money. And the Wreckers is putting that on tonight at Aqua from 6 to 8. And then we have our regular drag show at 9 o'clock. Wonderful. And now, Faith, I have to ask, do you think this is something you're going to do for the rest of your life? I think so. I've gone on 16 years now, mm -hmm. and I'm about to celebrate 10 years in Key West next month. Mm -hmm. Wow. Crazy, I, huh? I know. I Time can't flies. believe that. I can't believe that. <laughs> We don't have seasons, so it all just feels the same all the time. Um, I think so. I think this is something that I'll be doing. I think I'll be doing Reba and Celine up until my uh, 60s or as long as my body will allow me to. Well, wonderful. I, I, you can tell that you're very passionate about it, so keep doing well, thank you what you love, much. right? Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And thank you for seeing that. Well, it's been a pleasure having you on, and you can check out Faith anytime at Aqua. You're there how many nights a week, Faith? We do shows seven days a week. Okay. Every night, 9 o'clock, uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, two shows. All right, wonderful. And check her out tonight for the record party. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back after these messages.